Okay, theory students, welcome to another discussion of music theory, and this time we're going to talk about Phrygian cadences. So Phrygian cadences are cadences that use a four chord in first inversion, and they head into a five chord. They're used a lot in the Baroque period, and they only happen in minor keys. So let's take a look at our staff. Here we have uh, treble and bass clef, and we have our key signature of E minor, which is one sharp, F sharp. And we here we have our, our key anal um, analysis set up. So we have a lowercase e. And let's take a look at um, composing a one chord, which establishes tonic harmony. Then we're going to head into a four six chord, which forms part of your Phrygian cadence. And then we're going to head into a five chord. So it's this component right here, four six into five, that is the basis of a Phrygian cadence. OK, and let's take a look at fleshing some of these harmonies out. E minor, the bass note has to be an E stem down. Now, a four chord, a standard four chord in the key of E minor is spelled, students, A, C, E. That's an A minor chord. So now an A minor chord in first inversion has to sit on what bass note? A C. And C is scale degree six in the key of E minor. And then finally it settles down into a five chord which is a B. Okay, let's flush out the harmonies up on top. E, G, B. Those are the notes of a one chord in the key of E minor. I have my E. You want to double the roots of triads. And you need a G and a B. So why don't I start with a B up on top in the soprano, which is your scale degree five. I'll put the E in the alto, which is my doubled root. And I'll use the G in the tenor. So now I have an evenly spaced chord with no more than an octave between any of the parts. Now, the Phrygian cadence has a four chord in first inversion, a four six chord. So the notes of that chord are the notes of an E minor triad, and the C sits in the bass, flat six, lowered six. So now those notes are going to be A, C, E. How can we head off these tones? From the B, we'll head down by step. We'll maintain the common tone E natural in the alto. A one chord to a four chord always has scale degree one in common. And then we'll double up on the root of the chord in the tenor. So A, A, C, and an E. Now how do we head into the five chord? The five chord has the notes B, D sharp, F sharp. All five chords in minor keys are major. How do you make them major? you need to raise the leading tone. So B, D natural, F sharp would be a minor chord. Now you need to raise the leading tone that would give you B, D sharp, F sharp. So where can we head off and use our D sharp? I see a good place right here in the alto, heading down by step. The doubled B can be in the soprano. The F sharp could be used in the tenor. So here you have your B and your B, which is your doubled root, your leading tone raised, and your scale degree, um, your, your fifth of your chord, sorry, the fifth of your chord, which is the F sharp. Okay, now let's take a look at some of this in action. So here is our one chord, the key of E minor. Now it, uh, a Phrygian cadence heads down to flat six and to a five chord. And that would be a good place to pause. So one more time, in action, it's one, four, six, five. And that is a Phrygian cadence. And the Phrygian element about it is this lowered, um, this half step between the base um, scale degree six and five, which is an element in a Phrygian scale when it moves from its its um, Phrygian mode when it moves from its flat two to scale degree one, and that is the Phrygian element about it. Again, these chords, this cadence only happens in minor, and it has to involve a four six chord and a five chord. Again, four six to five, and that'll produce flat six five in the bass, and that is your Phrygian cadence. Okay, theory students, any questions? Go ahead and email. Uh, thanks for your attention and check in soon with more videos.